the finished product is really what I was after. It's been the journey that I was set on, the people I have met, the friends I have made, the information that I've gathered, that has really made this a lifetime experience for me and probably my life's greatest experience. Right out of high school, I graduated and I took my bank book and I still remember uh, the next day I went out and bought my first Porsche, a 1959 convertible D. It was during that summer that I spent so much time at the Porsche dealership, they got tired of seeing me and uh, so they offered me a job. I learned a lot about Porsche and how they operate their business. They're very thorough, they're very committed to their brand. They wanted to make sure that you were as well and that you were thoroughly trained and so I found myself many evenings studying the parts books. I really loved the 550A mainly because it was the last car to have the commended body styling. Knowing that it was built in very, very low numbers was very highly collectible even back in the early 70s. So I started looking for a Spider. I looked throughout Europe, I looked throughout the US for a 550A or 550. Couldn't find anything for three years. Eventually, I got a call from a gentleman by the name of Jim Wellington down in uh, the Bay Area. He said, get on a plane. There's two of them available for sale now. While I had restored several 356 Porsches, all of the Carrera vintage uh, four cam cars, this would be my greatest challenge. Of course, researching the history of these cars is also a major part of the hobby. I learned a lot about this particular car as having a great background. The term giant killers came around because they were able to go up against much larger displacement cars such as Ferrari, Mercedes, and be very successful at it. The 550A, when it first came from the factory, the first one in 1956, they sent it to Targa Floria. It won outright by 15 minutes. Herbert Kays was the race manager for the Piage family in Salzburg. He was also the nephew of Ferdinand Porsche. He was the one that entrusted the driving of this car uh, to Ernest Vogel. He was a concert pianist, but then on weekends, he basically put all that aside, put on a helmet, put on goggles, got behind the wheel, and went out and kicked some ass. It has taken me 34 years of loving hard work to get 558-0141 back to its present condition. All of the inner panels have been redone, the exterior panels as well, using an original 550A as a template in which they built a wooden body buck from and used that as a reference point or tool to then contour all of their panels from transported it to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, where Bill Doyle took on responsibility for all the mechanicals of the car. Engine, transmission, all the hydraulics, braking system, you name it, anything mechanical, Bill was hands-on completing all of that side of the restoration. And he did a beautiful job. The wheels are four and a half inch lightweight wheels, riveted. There are five of them. The steering wheel is a VDM 550A steering wheel. Most everything else that you see in this car at one time was original to a 550A or to this specific car. And again, I have left certain things undone so that others can enjoy really what I enjoy, the skeletal view of a sports car. Anybody that gets in this car is gonna feel like they just put it on like a shirt. You feel the road, you feel every little bump, little stone in the road that you may cross over. You feel everything in the car. I think it's time to move on for me. I have other cars yet that I'd like to enjoy, but I would hope that the, the next purchaser looks at it as a piece of artwork. There is a tremendous amount of hours, time, travels that have gone into the restoration of this car. And I just hope that the new owners can appreciate that.